How you doing? Thought I'd do a quick video. Inside my pod right now. Dharma. I, well, I love dearly. This is a really cool vehicle, by the way. It's just, you know, the open space. I'm going to get into it because I need to organize. But it's perfect. I mean, I've actually sat out in nature and had animals just walking around because they, it's just a big white rock. And I mean, they don't understand what this is. As long as it's not moving and they don't hear voices, it might as well be a building or a rock or just a tree, you know what I mean? Inanimate object. They just don't even pay attention. I've seen foxes walk by, um, coyotes, um, deer walked around my vehicle, buffalo. It was awesome. I mean, the, the wind is really going right now, which is why I'm doing the video inside here. But I just want to talk real quick about the Matrix. And it was interesting. Before that even came out, when I was younger, because I was always reading books about spirituality and stuff like that, even like 18, 19. Like there's one book about an Indian lady that went out into the woods and actually met an elder, a native medicine woman that was like living in the middle of the woods and in a little shack and she was telling her about nature and herbs and stuff like that. And she wrote a book about it. It was really beautiful. <clears throat> anyway, but I was always curious about like destiny and choice and free will and all that. And I was always trying to test it. Like, you know, take a left turn instead of a right turn when you normally go right, that kind of thing. Just shake it up, change up your routine, that kind of thing, just to see what would happen. Like, if you change your destiny by changing your direction. So I always thought that was kind of amazing. And then I realized at some point that I became Neo. And that I'd, I'd broken free from the Matrix. And I was like nobody else. And I couldn't let people know, I mean, because it's just they're not going to get it. Because if you're in the ma if you're if you're I think it has to do with the low vibration. It's kind of like you, your vibration raises so high that you you it's like you get popped out. It's like uh, it's like yeah, it's almost like in the in the movie Matrix when he gets unplugged. It's because he you know he took the pill right. So that's what happens. You take the pill and take the wrong pill. And next thing you know they're like the machines see that your vibrations. Uh oh, this this battery's about to blow. So they just unplug and flush right. And here I get flushed out in the middle of the desert, the Sonoran Desert, which is beautiful, by the way. I'm like sitting there. The more I sit there, the more I think it's like really, really beautiful. But anyway, <clears throat> but I just wanted to talk about that real quick. Sorry about that. Clear my throat. But I just want to talk about that. Hopefully this video turns out because I always found that fascinating as far as like the actual mate, matrix and if we were actually in it. You never know. I think it's crazy and interesting. I love how I'm I'm listening to oracles. I call them oracles, my readers on YouTube. And a lot, it's weird because they, a lot of them fall off or you drop out. And you wonder if it's the program because they're getting the message through. It's almost like the, in the movie they had oracles. So I thought that was kind of cool. But anyway, I guess I'll leave with this. Are you Neo? Wonderful day. Love and light.